G'day guys, this is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. I hope my Dream Stream family and viewers are well. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Friday and Sunday. If you want to go check out my schedule, please go and click on the link in the description below. I have a pretty positive and chill community and I hope to see you guys there. I am continuing a Friends Read Along series. We are now up to issue two. It's a lot of fun going back through and reading these again. Um, I didn't really do a read along at first um, as I thought this might be a deterrent um, for most people who would much rather just read it for themselves. But also as well, a friend now recently opening up her YouTube channel. You can go and find about all her information and uh, everything in the icon, I icon above. If you want to go give her a subscribe um, to go and give um, a fellow community member some support. Alright guys, without further ado, we are going to switch over scenes and come on with the joining with me. Have some fun. Issue 2, let's go! And so, Miracle Light managed to bring the Chosen One back to their time when many challenges await. After being taken to Carmonte Island and collapsing in the opening, our hero is rescued by three strangers. How will Afreen react when she wakes up? Our hero is about to learn all about the world of PFG and her destiny. Two hours after arriving at the hotel. ah, Hey look, she is waking up! Huh? Are you okay? Where am I? Glad to see you're okay. What the? Where am I? And who are you all? Calm down, no need to freak out. We rescued you, we're unconscious in Carmonte Full View. Carmonte Full View? What's that? What? You don't know what Carmonte Full View is? No, that's why I asked you. She's joking, right? Have you heard of Carmonte and PFG? Nope. This is my first time hearing these words. That's way too weird. Everybody in the world knows about uh, Carmonte and PFG. Tell us where you live so we can help you get home. Well, I live in... Uh, I forgot my own address. How? Hmm. Did you bump your head uh, or something? What's the last thing you can remember? The last thing I remember was walking into school when I saw a strange light, light up on the hill, so I went to investigate. What happened next? After I reached that light, it led me to a place where I saw <clears throat> a giant portal that was glowing brightly, then it started to talk to me. No way, it couldn't be that, could it? I can't remember much, but it said something about needing me, that PFG was in trouble that I had to go with it. I said I don't want to go, but it tried to take me, so I ran as fast as I can before things uh, got worse. Uh, but two big gleaming hands came out from the portal and uh, grabbed me and threw me inside of it. After that, I don't know what happened. I have heard rumors, but I've never uh, imagined it could be true. Hey, tell me one thing. Did that portal tell you its name? Um, yeah, it's hard to remember, but I think it started with mm, Miracle. Mirac? Something like that? Wait, Mirac? You mean Miracle? Aha! You got it! Dude, yeah, it was Miracle. Miracle Light? Whoa, bingo! Absolutely correct, it was Miracle Light. I can't believe this! That would mean you are the chosen one who came from the past. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, this is year 2328. We are in the 24th century. Uh, by the sound of things, you are not from this time, right? You're joking, right? It's 2020. 2020, huh? So you are from the 21st century. I wonder why Miracle Light decided to choose someone from the past. Uh, where in the hell am I? 24th century? I can't believe this. Come on, you are joking, right? Okay, then, see this. Uh, 24th of February... Uh, 2328, 1148 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, how can I help you, Master? No, 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 no. I still don't believe this. You did something with the settings to fool me. Well, if you don't believe this, then there's nothing we can do. Why, why me? 
there's so many people out there, but why me? I'm not sure, but maybe Miracle Light saw something special in you. Or could you have some kind of connection with Miracle Light? Hey, you told us Miracle Light wanted you for PFG, right? Hmm, I guess so. I think it says something about that. Nico, I know you were chosen. Can you explain it to the rest of us? In 20 years, nobody has uh, defeated the champion of Jewel Chao, right? Uh, Miracle Light must have brought this girl here as they saw she has the potential to do it. Choosing someone to be the champion of PFG seems like nonsense to me. I bet there is something more to this. Why not? Let's give this girl a try. Forget about these stupid things. Now tell me how can I get home? Please help me find a way. Only the one who brought you here Miracle Light knows how to get you home. Looks like you're connected with the future of PFG and that's why you're chosen. Uh, you haven't introduced yourself yet. What's your name, girl? Afreen. Afreen. Ah, nice name, by the way. My name's Luca. Pleased to meet you. My name is Sharon, and I am Nadia. Uh, let's be friends. We'll try our best to help you get home, and we'll make sure you don't feel alone while you're here. Okay, you seem trustworthy, so what am I meant to do now? First of all, let's take you to the PFG Registration Centre. You will be signed up for the tournament. Then I would teach you how to play the, uh, this game in a room match. It'd be like a training duel. It's a game? Yep, it is. Every three years a tournament is held at Kamanti Island. The champion of PFG will get a glorious duel tower as their victory prize. So my purpose is to defeat the current champion of that tower and become the new champion of PFG? Well, that sounds easy. Let's do this. Then I will be able to go back home. I guess so, if Miracle Light said it must be true. It isn't as easy as you may think. Nobody has defeated the current owner of Jewel Tower in 20 years. Sharon is right, you need to be one of the 100% committed to this, understood? Yeah, all I want to do is get home. I'll do my best to become the PFG champion. It's my destiny after all, so I will give it my best. Just don't get overconfident, okay? Let's head to the PFG registration center. But before that, you need to change your clothes. People will be suspicious if you're dressed like that. Hey Sharon, can you give a friend one of your dresses? You're about the same size as her. Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Here, take it. You can change in that room. Okay. A few minutes later. Ah, you look great. It suits you. Yeah. Ready to go? Huh? Oh wow, it's so awesome. So we're in the jewel room as we speak. I know you must be may seeing all these things, right? But we don't have much time to waste. Registering, registration closes at 2.30, so we need to go now. Right, let's go. The sweet scent of the ocean carried by the wind. The beautiful sky touching the ocean. It's beautiful. And those fabulous buildings are over on that island. I feel so great here. Yes, these are the Comanche Islands. There are three islands here that make up Comanche. There's uh, Comanche 1, where the PFG tournament takes place, and those hotels are... Uh, this is Comanche 2, which is where we are now. This is where the PFG players stay. Finally, you have Comanche 3, which is the where residents or tourists um, not involved with PFG stay. And this bridge is over here, is over there. Follow us. Wow, such an awesome bridge. It only takes seven to eight minutes to reach Kamanti 1 from this bridge. Uh, welcome to Kamanti 1, Efreen. Um, that's Kamanti Island? Well, uh, we actually need to go up by using the elevator to reach that registration center. Oh, pretty tall. Well, floor number one. Jewel Hub. Well, that's PFG Roger Station Center. Wow, let's go. Okay, Sharon and I are going to start our registration. You take a free and get both of yours sorted. See you soon. Okay, let's get registered. Uh -huh. Excuse me, we are here to register for the PFG. Oh, you must be Luca, right? Your dad already registered yesterday. Without telling me, why does he treat me like a kid? I can do my own registration. So anything else I can help you with? Dad. Okay then, this is my friend Afreen. 
She is also looking to participate in the tournament. Can you please get her a registration form? Yeah, sure. Please fill in this form using block letters. So this is the registration form. Mother's name. Uh, birth year. I can't give my birth real date as I'm from the past. Uh, 12th of April 2314. Uh, maybe I need to hide uh, my identity. Better to write something else. What do I do? Look at this form. Hey, Luca, Luca. Just bring in very low voice. We can see squish. Ouch. What's wrong? What do what do I do? Look at this form. I already told you that I forgot my address. Now what do I do? Give me the pen. I will write one of my friend's addresses. Don't worry. Nothing will go wrong. Uh, thanks for completing the form. I will now set up your online profile so other jewelers can track your jewel progress. Yay, it's all done. That's all done. Welcome to our PFG tournament. Now let's get your player gear. First, please change into your PFG suit. It's waiting for you in exchange room 12 down the hall. Okay, go on. I'll wait here. Yeah, how do I look? Hey, it looks great on you. Thanks. After a few minutes in the changing room. Oh wow, this looks awesome. Yeah, I must admit I do like the uniforms. They're so pretty. Here, take this mask. PFG players have always worn these since PFG began. It's an old island tradition. Now you are done with that. Uh, here is the jewel set. So we've got Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Radita, Radicate, and Spiro. We've got the plates. Um, X attack. I'm sure that's swap plate, and I think that's Awakening. Uh, like it is originally, which I think is really cool. These figurines are so adorable! Can you please stop with the sparkly eyes? It's a bit much. Also, please take your AI. Awesome! Oh, come on, stop! These jewel figures of yours will be deposited uh, to your PFG locker. Each time you win a new figure or plate, they'll also be deposited there. You can arrange your decks through your computer whenever you're jewel with someone. Just tell Roblox. The jewel judge. Which deck you wish to use, it will automatically appear on the jewel board. Understood? Yes. As it's your first time in the PFG tournament, take this jewel guide book. It has many useful tips for PFG. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Jewel? So you want to have a jewel? Yeah, to teach you how to play? Let's head to the jewel hub. Hey, we're back. Registration done, by the way. You're looking cool in the PFG suit, Efreen. Yeah. Thanks, Sharon and Nadia. I'm going to take her to the Jewel Hub for some training. Yep, I'm ready. Training, Sharon, how about you? And I do a match too. It's been so long since we Jewel. Uh, then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jewel Hub. A few minutes later into the elevator again. Here we go again. Now I'm tired of saying wow and awesome. This word who's really is wholesome. All the best you two. Sharon and I are going to do our duel. See you later. But before we duel, let's start up your AI. To start it up, just drag the cap of the AI down and tap on the screen. Loading system PFG. Uh, something or other. Please wait. Sorry, I'm unable to read the text. Because um, I'm a little bit far away from it. Ta what? Ta-da! Apologies for startling you. My name is uh, Carlo, your faithful AI assistant. I'll be providing support, full support from here on. Would you like me to demonstrate my usefulness in a duel? Well, it speaks like a human. I've never seen an AI like that before. Yes, they can, but not like you. I don't know. Can I, um, can't other AI talk, sir? So you mean I am special or something? I'm pleased to meet you, Master. I'll guide you all the way through PFG tournament. Uh, you're welcome, Master. You seem to be a little bit cocky to me, um, by the way. My name is Efreen. Nice to meet you, Carlo. Thanks, Carlo. Let's take a seat. Okay, Roblox, we are going to do a practice duel. Would you please set the board? Sure, player. As this is a training duel, you will both receive a practice deck. Now, please place your AO down on the deck. Done, done. Here are your random figures and plates for your training jewel. 
Now, listen carefully, a friend. The conditions for winning are simple. All you have to do is get one of your figures to the goal on the opponent's side. So the glowing blue and orange uh, flags, they are the goals. Wow! If your opponent reaches your goal, uh, then you will lose. Uh, spinning time. The six figures of your side of the bench are on the deck of yours lined up there. As this is a training duel, both of your figures are random. You get to go first, a frame. Now let's have a look one of, at one of your figures. Let's bring that uh, our rare Eevee uh, to the board. Try placing it on your entry point. Uh, the big circles at the corners of the board. Uh, great! Now let's talk about MP. MP stands for move points. Uh, they indicate how many points your figure can move per turn. As you can see, your EV has 3 MP. Another thing to remember is that on the first turn of the game, all your figure's MPs are reduced by 1. Now that you have moved, it's my turn. I moved my UC Uncommon Voltorb 3 steps that it has 3 MP. Now place your EV uh, in front of my Voltorb Ephraim. Your figure can't move onto or pass the point occupied by an opponent's figure. The only way to pass is, is to knock out your opponent's figure in a battle first. First bring out the wheel by touching the sides of the base with two fingers like this. Simple. Now do your, the same thing Ephraim. And then now let's battle. Spin the wheel to decide your attack. It comes down to chance, so good luck. Uh, whatever the wheel lands on is your attack. You spun 30 damage and I spun 10. So you win the battle. Uh, different colors uh, mean different things. If it's white or gold, you compare the damages and read the effects. But if there are other colors, you should know how they work. Uh, purple beats white, gold beats purple, and blue uh, beats everything. Don't worry too much though, you can learn as you go. Yeah, I've got to read my PFG book. Well, I'm having fun. This game isn't bad. If you spin miss, literally any attack will beat you. If a figure is knocked out, that will be moved to its Pokemon Center. While it's there, it can't be used. Okay, I'm going to move uh, my UC Voltorb to your Eevee. I end my turn. No, just going um, to teach you a different strategy. Now bring out your UC Uncommon Bulbasaur from the left entry point. It can move uh, 3 MP, so take it as far as it can go to the center square. Uh, I moved my, la my rare Lapras two steps away. My turn ends. Now, Freen, put your Bulbasaur next to my uh, Voltorb. This is called surrounding. If you surround an opponent's figure on all sides, you can automatically knock them out without even battling them. I moved my Lapras uh, to my goal to protect it. Hehehe. <laughs> anyway, let's teach you how to use plates. See that thing there? Use it to take control. Hmm, this is a meadow power plate. Uh, place it on the center of the board to activate it. Great, now let me show you how that plate works. As that plate ends your turn, it will move my Lapras to attack your Bulbasaur. Ready? Spin. Whoa, attack power increased by 20. Only for your grass type uh, figures though. Every plate and figure has a different effect. So make sure to come up with a good strategy to ma maximize their potential. Your path is clear. Now take my goal. Um, the winner is a friend. Um, see how my how simple this game is? All you got to do is memorize the basics and make a strategy of your own goal. Uh, really, Luca? I enjoyed it a lot. Thanks for teaching me and I don't worry. I have a great memory and if I need it, I always have those guidebooks with me. Well, time to go back to the hotel. Hope Sharon and Nadia are finished. Did I just hear our names there, Luca? Hey there. So who won Jewel? Mwahaha. As usual, I won. Sharon just made one simple mistake and I made her pay hard. Oh come on, that was just a silly mistake. Okay dudes, let's go back to the PFG hotel. Well, I've got a question. You said it's a rule to wear a mask when you duel. Why don't you three uh, follow that rule? Well, that's because 
Uh, we have a certain special status in the PFG circles. Huh? What does that mean? We are the... Wait, wait, wait. If you want to know who we are, then you need to become a stronger duelist. It's a secret we won't be telling you until the time is ripe. Just make sure you don't break the rules, Ephraim. If someone complains, you will be disqualified from the tournament. So be careful. Okay, understood. After 25 minutes into the PFG hotel, lunchtime. Okay, thanks for waiting. Here's your order. Enjoy. <gasps> Yummy. What's wrong, Ephraim? Why aren't you eating? Well, how could I? I don't have any money to pay for all these dishes you ordered me. Hey, don't laugh like that. You are all embarrassing me. Come on, dudes. You know Freen is new. She doesn't know anything. Eat as much as you like. There's no need to pay. It's all completely free for PFG players. Is that so? Then let's eat. Ha! Huh. Um, mm, nom nom. So delicious. Nom nom. Nom, these chefs are from six-star hotels, so don't underestimate their cooking. Now lunch is done. Let's show you your room. Um, I knew it had to be some great friends already. Um, things are coming on exactly as I planned. Oh, Miracle Light. Well, but this is your room. Mine is next uh, uh, next door. Uh, take this key and go inside. Well, nice. Much bigger than my room back home. So luxurious. One more thing, Efreen. You can't tell anyone you came here from the past. Uh, why is that, Luca? If Miracle Light chose you, then it means you have the potential to become champion. I can see that potential inside you now. If other people find out about this, then I'll put a massive target on your back. People will try to knock you out of the tournament, so make sure you don't tell anyone. It'd be a secret just between us four. I won't tell anyone. Promise. Uh, you should get some rest or study a little more of that guidebook. We're heading off. It will help you. Just call us. Take, uh, take care. See ya. Well, they're gone now. Let's explore my new room, starting with the wardrobe over there. A total of six PFG suits. Great. So with the one I'm wearing now, that makes seven. Each day, a new dress. Let's take a peek in these drawers. All six bows, what will be in the second drawer? Well, at least uh, they care about girls too. Um, and a futuristic advanced hologram computer, just like I always dreamed of. Cool. It's now, it's night time now, 10.35 p.m. And three pajamas too. Awesome. My first day in this world uh, wasn't too bad, I guess. Memories. Lika, Sha and Nadia, they seem to have good hearts. They helped me and are still helping me even though I am just a stranger to them. Master, it's getting late. You should go to sleep. You have to wake up early in the morning. Right, Carlo. Anyway, good night. Um, oof. I can't sleep after 20 minutes. Really, I can't sleep alone in, in such a new place like this. I'm so tense about my family. They'll be worried that I haven't returned home yet. Can't sleep, might do something productive. Um, let's check my jewel profile first. Knock knock. Who's there? Open the door. It's me, Nadia. Hey Nadia, what are you doing here, uh, this late? I still see you're still awake. Guess you can't sleep so easily in a new place. I suppose you are worried about your family. So I'm here to make sure you don't feel alone. How about I sleep here tonight? Wait, how did you know that? Experienced girl, I know how it feels when you're in a place that you could never have imagined. Nadia, sure, you can come in. You know tomorrow is the opening ceremony of the PFG tournament. We have to wake up early. Oh, this voice. Miss Nadia, glad to see you here. Same here, Carlo. I wonder what this 21st century was like. I would love to see it, but even though um, through ta uh, time travel exists only here, uh, only researchers and scientists are allowed to use it. Number of people are not allowed. Right. If I start talking to you, there'll be um, no end to my questions. Uh, let's chat uh, more tomorrow. Hello, could you please turn off the lights? Sure, Miss Nadia. Huh? Wait, Carlo, turn off the lights too? Uh, not only Carlo, but any AI can. They can control your room's appliances, like turning on and off your lights, um, AC fans, etc. Anyway, good night. Good night, Nadia, and you too, Carlo. If I, I was right, I can fully trust these people. They have kind hearts. I wonder what my family are doing now. Are they worried about me? I don't know how things are going to end up, but I still must walk this path for now. Uh, if it was me, uh, the fool, who ran to that light and straight into the 
trap just like those kids who get kidnapped because someone offered them candy. Uh, and one more thing, I don't understand why would uh, someone, uh, why would anyone choose uh, someone just for a game? It doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll find out when the time is right. Anyway, I should get some sleep now. I have to wake up early in the morning. To be continued. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much uh, for reading along with me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please smash the subscribe bell. Um, all your support is much appreciated. Uh, it's really, I'm really I'm in re uh, enjoying rereading a friend's manga once more. It's been a while since she released them. Uh, I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this along with me. Let me know your thoughts and what you're excited to read next, guys. Uh, anyways, this concludes my video. Um, please make sure to go ahead and give a Afreen um, some support. I will put up her information here on the eye icon, guys. And again, thank you so much. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen, over and out. Peace, love, light, and joy. Enjoy the day. Take care, guys, and thank you so much.